One of the things I kind of concluded from the Dirty Kanza Praxis session was that it's probably time to replace my chain rings. Now, I've always in the past have had steel chain rings and I've never really worn out a chain ring, but <clears throat> these are aluminum and they have somewhere between 12 and 13,000 miles on them. And you know, they're probably pretty worn. And anyhow, I wanted to change down to a uh, to a smaller uh, chain ring set, a more of a cyclocross chain ring. This is a compact triple. So this is a 50. This is a 39. So I got some new chain rings. This is a you know it's 46. Uh, so anyhow, I thought. Let's give these away and see. Now, so, these are going to, I'm going to save weight on these just by the fact that they're smaller gears, but I always wondered how much weight do you really save. It's probably going to be next to nothing, but let's give it a try anyhow. So there, that's uh, 102 grams. Hundred and forty nine grams, so forty five, fifty grams. Actually that's more than I thought. More than I thought. I'd be interested to see um, how big of a difference this makes. And also uh, I think maybe if since this is forty six tooth, I might be able to get away with shifting a thirty two uh, cog on the rear if I add an add a link or so to the chain. I may have enough chain wrap to do it, we'll see. Yeah, part of the fun of owning a bike. Upgrade and experiment. There are the new chain rings as the manufacturer intended them on the bike. So just as a reminder, this is a 46. I used to have a 50 and the middle chain ring now is a 38. I used to have a 39. So. I put a couple hundred miles on these, just enough, you know, maybe 10 miles to get the shifting dialed in, and then I went out and put them through their paces. I wanted to ride up some hills and do some sprints and see see what the difference was. Um, I was concerned. I used to ride a 50 tooth chain ring. I'm going down to a 46. I'm concerned that I'm losing top end speed when I'm looking at all the gearing and cadence um, widgets online. You know, I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I can spin the type of cadence that I'm going to need to maintain some of the speeds. But the truth is, if this is a gravel road race bike, if I look at my speed data from most of my gravel rides, you know, these long endurance rides, um, 100, 100 plus miles, uh, if I'm hitting 30 miles an hour a couple of times during the ride, um, that's quite a bit. So I don't know, I just didn't think I needed the speed for a that, that I was getting from the 50 tooth ring and I notice when I'm riding in those races I'm spending most of my time on what used to be the 39 so I thought I'd dial it back a little dial back the middle a little bit dial back the big chain ring a lot and then be able to split more time between the big and the small as an added bonus well, first of all, let's back up a little bit. This is the SRAM, or I'm sorry, the Shimano 105 5700 5703 front derailleur. If you look at the spec on that, it says that the minimum chain ring difference is 10 or 11. Anyhow, double digits, and uh, obviously I don't have that. I've got 4638, so I'm well inside the spec. Uh, but just to let you know, uh, it doesn't shift any better or worse that way so you know I'm sure there's a reason for that spec but I sh would advise you to treat that as a guideline not necessarily as a hard fast rule it it shifts it just fine at least for the 5703 uh, for the double I don't know you have to find out on your own. I should say one more thing about my new cycle cross gearing and the front derailleur adjustment I had mentioned before that the difference between the the Shimano spec of the 5703 front derailleur says uh, you got to have a uh, minimum 11 tooth difference between the middle chain ring and the outside chain ring. Uh, and I don't, I've only got eight. So the 
and, and I mentioned that's just a guideline, but a couple of things to consider there. I, I just wanted to throw this out. You can tell that the gap between the um, big chain ring tooth and the front derailleur outside rail here is out of spec, right? It's too wide, needs to be closer than that. Why do I have it that way? <clears throat> well, the reason I have it that way is if I shift on, if I put it in spec and then I shift down on the middle, the inside rail, when I go to shift back up, when the inside rail moves out, it contacts the, it comes into contact with the middle chain ring, okay? And that stops it from moving up and out. Okay, so you got, I had to move it a little bit out of spec to do that. So, no biggie for the most part, but, and this hasn't happened to me, but uh, what you run the risk of is when you go ahead and shift onto the big chain ring, that the chain could slip out in between here and come off on the outside of your big chain ring. So that's the risk you run. Be aware of that.